uh, Roly versus Pitbull. They are both uh, looking for a knockout. And, um, you know, a lot of things that uh, Roly won the belt against Ismael Barroso. Many believe that Barroso actually won the fight. That is to be continued. Um, maybe they can get a rematch if he were to be victorious. But knowing that these two are going to go for the knockout, they are. it's going to be a slugfest. As trainers, I'm going to ask you once again, if you were training either one of them or both of them, would you change their game plan and try to outbox each other? Because I know they're going to be looking to be fighting in a phone booth and maybe fight from the outside this time. Go ahead, uh, Coach Calvin. Both of them guys, you ain't gonna change their style. Pitbull ain't gonna box. Roly don't box. <laughs> it is what it is. You know, that's why I said it's a great card. Um, again, I'm so excited because Roly fights Pitbull. Pitbull is short. I don't know if they can find the type of guys that got that type of style that Pitbull got. got but Roly don't have to go for him. You know what I'm saying? And, um, his bull don't have to go for road. So it's just for who's going to land the big shot and which round is going to be landed in. Um, I, I wouldn't even try to change up what Pitbull did. Uh, Roley, um, I work on his footwork a little bit, you know, get him get him to move a little bit before all balance. Okay. How about you, Coach Cunningham? Well, um, like Calvin said, those guys are uh, pretty much uh, style-wise. You know, uh, I don't I don't see a lot of versatility there, so you're not going to change too much. But uh, and, and especially with Pitbull, he's he's coming, and uh, he's going he's bringing nonstop pressure. He's winging he's winging hard shots, and that's just what he is, and that's just what he's going to do with Roley. With respects to Roley, Roley's got Roley. Roley's got a little more range in terms of uh, length and reach, and he needs to try to use his reach uh, and try to keep uh, uh, Pitbull on the end of his shots and uh, use his use his footwork a little bit by controlling distance with his footwork and uh, use his reach and, and and try to set Pitbull up big shots and combinations. So that's what I that's what I see in this in this respective matchup. Uh Calvin, since we both know that uh they both uh Roley and Pitbull have fought Tank Davis, um what did you learn about Roley and what did Tank say to you about both of these fights possibly or what did you see in the ring when uh Tank was fighting them both? Their some of their um the, the things that they did wrong that they need to work on. Well, um, respectively, uh, Pitbull, Pitbull, we didn't have both hands. And when I go back and watch that fight over and over, you probably hear me say that you know, I would find a rematch because I know Tank would have stopped. You know, um, again, you're not changing Pitbull. It's just, it is what it is. And tank box is good that night. He could have sat down on shots that I know that was there. It would have been a different fight. You, know, you, you see some clips that Pitbull was blocking uh, the uppercut, the other shots that was there that he couldn't hear you on a certain hand, on that hand that was injured and whatnot. That, that was there. He seen it, but he couldn't do it. You know? But he boxed too. It was beautiful. With Roley, again, his footwork, you know, he got to look like, like Cunningham said, he got to be able to keep that range. Can he keep that range and keep Pitbull off? Because Pitbull doing one thing. Come, get on your marks, get set, go. That's it, you know, and he comes. So it just, it just, I'm not going to land that big shot who can take a big shot. Yes. That's what we want to see that night. As far as uh, rolling Isaac Cruz go, the fight's at 140. Isaac Cruz is normally fighting at 35. Roley just moved up. Does the weight favor Roley? And if so, what game plan should he implement to use that advantage? Or Coach Calvin? Um, no, I mean, it's, it's for that, 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 that type of style cruise fight, it's not even going to affect him because he's just going to do what he's doing. He's going to come to fight. Roley, you know, it's good for Roley because he ain't got to come down. He's going to be bigger, you know, so, um, like I said, 
who can endure what they bring it and who land the cleanest shot? That's what's going to be the factor that night. Coach Kevin? Yeah, I, like I said before, um, I think uh, there's going to be opportunities for Roley to uh, catch Cruz coming in, catch him on the end of his punches. And uh, he needs to use his reach and range. And he needs to uh, use his footwork properly. And uh, I think it, he could he could he could have some success if he does that. Uh, for Cruz, we all know Cruz is Cruz is just coming straight at him. He's coming at him. He's winging big shots, and that's just what Pitbull does. So, you know, let's see if, if I mean let's see if that's going to be the recipe to uh, defeat Roley. And, and we'll have to see what game plan Roley implements to uh, prevent Pitbull from trying to just steamroll him because that's exactly what Pitbull is going to do. He's going to be in Roley's wheelhouse all night long. So we'll have to see. All right, and now this is the time I need to get going to your crystal ball, and I need you to give me your final predictions for Roley versus Pitbull and Thurman versus Zoo. Uh, Coach Kevin Cunningham, please give me your predictions. Well, for uh, Roley and Pitbull, uh, I think Pitbull might edge Roley out. Good, good. Could be a late stoppage. Uh, I think he's going to fight with high volume. And if Roley is not using distance and range and he, he doesn't catch him with something that's that's going to slow him up, I think Pitbull is going to overwhelm Roley and uh, he'll win by decision or late stoppage. In the main event, uh, Thurman Zoo, I think uh, Zoo is going to be a bit too – too much youth, too too strong, uh, and uh, he's gonna apply a lot of pressure. And uh, I just think uh, the young, stronger guy, young, stronger, fresher guy, will come out and top, come on, come up on top in that fight. Okay. And how about you, Coach Calvin Ford? Your predictions, please. I say the same again, but I don't want to count Thurman out. I'm saying, you know, I, I, I know Thurman since the amateurs. Um, great company guy. You know, he's been a great, he's been a great professional. He's always been professional, you know. And I got him putting on a, I, I, I want to see him put on a great performance that night. You know, but like, like Cunningham said, age is a factor. He's one of the last of the Mohicans out there and whatnot, but, you know. Never know. Sometimes God can go in there that night and make a difference. And um, for the Roly and um, Pitbull fight, um, I'm going to roll with Pitbull on this one. I'm going to roll with Pitbull because he, he, he ain't got to do too much with his body to just go in there and fight that night. You know, Roly got to work on a few things to keep Pitbull off. So will he be able to, did he work on it? Will he be able to do it that night in the fight and whatnot? So, do you, is it a, I was going to say, is it a late, late stoppage, man. knockout? Man, <laughs> you, might you might see that in the seventh round. You might see that in the seventh round. Really? He's coming, you know? And I know Roly. Roly, he's like, hold up. He's going to fight back. So I'm going to uh, kick for the rest of this style of fight. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.